hey guys what's up in today's video we will see how to remove JS and CSS from contact form 7 plugin when it is not necessary as you can see on my screen this is my contact page and I have integrated contact form on this page and my goal is to include plugin JS and CSS files only on this page not on other pages uh, if you view the source of this page uh, let me find contact form 7 CSS yeah this is the CSS file of the plugin and this one is the JS file which is included on this page which is absolutely fine in order to work contact form uh, if I go to some other page, let's say I'm going to home page. Now this plugin include those CSS and JSS file on my home page as well. And I don't want actually those CSS and JS files on my home page or on any other page which doesn't have my contact form. Here you can see both CSS and JS are included. So this actually hamper the, your server performance because on each page there are some JS CSS included which is not necessary. So I have written the blog on the same topic how to remove contact form 7 CSS JS and JS when not needed. So I'm writing the code for it. I first copy these two lines of code. Now these two filters actually completely remove contact form 7 CSS and JS from your application. That means there is no more JS and CSS files from contact form 7 plugin. And let us see it again. Now I view source both the page, my contact page. Now I am searching contact form 7. Yeah, here there is no CS, CSS or JS. Same with my home page. There is no contact form 7, CSS and JS file. This is because of the code we have written in our functions.php file. Yeah, now we need to include those JS and CSS on our contact file. So I open my page.php. This is the file from which WordPress render all our CMS pages. So on this file, I write the below code. This one, let me copy it. And paste it before get header here now to the is page function we need to pass slug of our contact page it can be contact hyphen us contact hyphen me in my case it is just contact now this code will include css and js file only on the contact page let me refresh it So here you can see now my CSS and JS files are included on contact page. Uh, if we check on home page, there is no contact form 7 CSS and JS files. So this is the way we can do this. So I hope you understand the tutorial. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching video. Have a nice day.